How to start an effective anti-aging skincare routine. Question I get all the time. And no matter what your age, whether you're 20, 30, 40, or over 50, like me, it's never too late to start a good solid routine to keep your skin looking its youngest, but also its healthiest best. So today, we're gonna to go through the basics of an anti-aging skincare routine, just the basics just what you actually need to do in order to keep that skin looking great, no matter what your age. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Chris. I'm a skincare expert, been doing this 35 years. So if you've been trying to navigate skincare, unravel the skincare product conundrums, or just actually like today, need a good solid start to an anti-aging skincare routine, you're definitely in the right place. Now, as we all get older, especially when we get into those 30s and 40s, we want to maintain the youthful look of our skin. Unfortunately, time isn't the only thing against us. Our body's metabolic processes do begin to slow down somewhat. Now, some of that is genetic, some of it has to do with our lifestyle choices, but much of it we can do something about. Everybody wants to look good at whatever age they are. And it really isn't just those skincare products, potions, lotions, creams, what have you, that you need to consider. But those tiny little habits, as I say all the time, little tiny choices we make every single day add up to what our wellness becomes. And that's the same thing when it goes for our skin. Things like smoking, getting enough rest, and consistent use an application of sunscreen, something that I have done since my early 20s, which obviously has paid off in huge dividends for the way my skin looks. But when it comes to the actual skincare routine part of this video, the first thing we wanna talk about is the key step of exfoliation. Some of you may be wondering about face washes. I talk about the, using the proper face wash all the time. So just a quick reminder here of what type of face wash you should be using based on your skin type before we jump into this all important step of exfoliation. When it comes to face washes, it doesn't matter what your skin type, what type of face wash you're using, your skin should never feel dry, tight, or squeaky clean. And yes, that includes you oily skin folks, and people that have a propensity for acne breakouts. For those of you with skin issues like rosacea, psoriasis, eczema, and acne, it can actually increase the amount of flare-ups and breakouts that you have. So here's how to know. If you have normal to oily skin, you can use a clarifying foaming face wash. That's one with mild surfacants in it, glycerin-based, water-based, what have you, to help remove extra oil, dirt, bacteria without overstripping the skin. For those of you with normal to dry to extremely dry skin, you don't wanna use a clarifying face wash. You wanna use a creamy or creamy foaming style face wash that is full of humectants to help keep skin moist, hydrated, and really reduce the chance of trans epidermal water loss. So the first key step in a great anti-aging skincare routine is of course exfoliation. And that's important because as we get towards our later 20s, skin cell renewal and turnover at the surface layers begins to slow down, which means we get a buildup of a very thin microscopic crust, if you will, of dead skin cells that make skin look textured, dull, dry, pores look enlarged, traps oil, dirt, bacteria, and also contributes to those dynamic wrinkles that we have. That's the ones that form on our face when we smile, laugh, cry, what have you. They go away when we stop. As you get older with that dry skin layer, it tends to force those crinkles and wrinkles to stay longer and longer, and then they become static wrinkles, which are harder to get rid of. So obviously, starting in your 20s, and if you're in your 20s, 30s, or 40s, let me know down in the comments that you're watching this, but this is when it's time to really begin addressing these issues before they become permanent, because they're much harder to reverse. Now, there are many ways in which to accomplish this exfoliation step. You can do it through Creams, lotions that contain AHAs, alpha hydroxy acids, which help dissolve that bond between the dead skin cells and the surface of your skin. Or you can use mild melting scrubs like sugar scrubs, anything beyond that. My esthetician background, my skincare background, makes me wanna tell you, I just don't like them. Usually the ingredients are questionable, broken pieces of shells or what have you. Really just better to use the chemical version or a sugar type scrub, or you can use something like a Buff Puff sponge, which is a sponge that actually will help you eliminate and lift off those very fine dead skin cells off the surface of the skin. But one to two times a week, a specialized deeper exfoliation process 
very good. Now with AHAs, and this happens to be alpha hydroxy's 14% glycolic skin renewal serum is one that I've been using for 25, 30 years. Anyway, you can use a product like this every day in your routine to help keep that cellular turnover sped up. So when you go to do that deeper exfoliation step once or twice a week, you get a real big bang for your buck. Your skin's gonna look really good. So exfoliation, one of the most effective steps you can take to help prevent premature aging of the skin and keep your skin looking amazing. The next all important step to make sure that you have in this routine, especially when you get towards your late 20s into your 30s is a vitamin C serum and a retinoid or vitamin A product for your skin. Very important, vitamin C serums help protect the skin against free radical damage and environmental damage from pollutants, you touching your skin with irritants, and it also helps support the skin in its job of protecting you from the damaging rays of the sun. Lots of vitamin C serums out there on the market. I will put links to the products that I recommend for each of these steps down below in the video description box for you guys to check out when we're done here today. So don't need to write all this down. You can just check out the description. It'll all be there. Retinoids are vitamin A topicals, the most effective skincare ingredient you can use in the anti-aging process because of its ability to be absorbed by the skin as retinoic acid, which helps do a myriad of things. Retinoic acid helps promote cellular renewal, speeds up cellular turnover. Yes, sort of a similar thing to the glycolic acid, but deeper. It helps your skin produce healthier cells, manage melanin production, which helps alleviate prevent and even fade age spots, dark spots, hyperpigmentation, and it helps your skin produce more collagen or maintain collagen and elastin fibers, especially as we get older. There are people that have been using prescription strength tretinoin since the 1980s. So here we are 35, 40 years later, looking at what the effects long-term of tretinoin have had for, for people. And it's pretty amazing the results that their skin looks like they're in their 30s. So never too late to start, but there are some important things to know about retinoids because you can get them over the counter and you can also get them prescription strength. Of course, that being Tretinoin Retin-A, the highest one. When you're in your 20s, using an over-the-counter retinol product that's very mild can be very helpful, especially since we're usually still prone to breakouts in our 20s and 30s. So products like Adipoline, which is a type of retinoid used in the treatment of acne, but it's over-the-counter, still has anti-aging benefits. So if you're in your 20s and you have oily skin, prone to breakouts, that's a great product to try. For the rest of us, those of us over 30 and with sensitive skin, products like encapsulated retinols, which this one is by Versed, it's one of my favorites. I've reviewed it a couple of times on the channel. Or if you have sensitive skin, we now have retinaldehydes. And the biggest difference to know between a retinaldehyde versus a retinol and a prescription strength is that retinaldehyde can deliver similar results to prescription strength tretinoin without the redness, dryness, and typical time it takes for skin to acclimate. The reason for that is, is that there's a chemical process when we put retinoids on the skin. They go from the retinoid form into retinaldehyde, which this is Naturium's version of retinaldehyde, and then into retinoic acid. By using retinaldehyde, you're skipping that chemical conversion process that happens, which is what often leads to that acclimation period, redness, dryness, and some of the irritation that people notice when using these type of products. Now, when you get in your 40s, 50s, and beyond, Sometimes it's a good idea to bump up to the prescription strength retinoid tretinoin. Of course, you would want to do that on the advice of a dermatologist. Bottom line, retinol, retinoids are still the king, the queen of all anti-aging topical products you can use because of their effectiveness, their safety, and their proven ability to keep skin looking youthful and healthy. The next super important step is to make sure that we're moisturizing our skin effectively and correctly. So a couple of things you need to know. You wanna use products, even if you have oily skin, that attract moisture and trap moisture in the skin, keeping it hydrated. Remember I talked about trans epidermal water loss? That's a big problem for skin in any environment anyway. But if you live in a dry climate or as you get older and you have less moisture availability in your skin, these type of products are super important in helping again to stop those dynamic wrinkles from turning into static wrinkles. And hydrated skin is healthy skin and responds much better, just like with the exfoliation step, to the other products that we would be using in our skincare routine. Here's what you 
need to know. Hyaluronic acid, polyglutamic acid, the two key ingredients, either one or both together in a moisturizing product, absolutely should be a part of your skincare routine. Light day moisturizers with hyaluronic acid. This is Neutrogena's Hydro Boost, it's one I use. And if you are using retinol or retinoid product at night, which is when you should be using them because the sunlight breaks those down, better to use retinol at night, did forget to say that. But you need to make sure that you're adding a moisturizing product on top of that so that you again help assist your skin's use of the retinol, making good use of it, and keeping it hydrated. So products that have ceramides, which are lipids, fatty little acids that are in the product to help repair and build up that lipid layer on your skin that protects your skin from the outer environment. A very good choice, especially if you have dry skin issues. And the fourth thing that I say you need to include, and that again is from my esthetician's background, is an eye cream. And I know there is so much confusion, conjecture, difference of opinion when it comes to eye creams, but the area around the eyes tends to be drier on almost all of us. There are less oil glands, there's less moisture, and as we get older, that is one place we really do not want to have a buildup of dead skin cells. The problem is really hard to exfoliate the skin on your eyes. You can't use a scrub or any of those things. So eye creams that help moisturize that, especially formulated with ingredients like retinol, can be extremely helpful for many of us in keeping the skin nice and tight, avoiding those crepey skin eyelid issues, helping to support the collagen that is around our eyes so that we don't get droopy eyelids. I've been very consistent in using eye creams myself, varying brands obviously since I test so many, but generally the ingredients are always the same. Lipids to help hydrate and protect the skin along with a retinol ingredient to help boost that collagen production. I don't have any crepey skin, droopy eyelid issues, any of that stuff going on. And of course, sunscreen still a big important part of that, which leads me to this one. And I always say, you can do all of these things that I recommend for you to do to get great looking skin, but if you're not using sunscreen, in the end, it's not going to matter. And your skin's just not going to look as good as it could as you get older. So the sooner you start with sunscreen, obviously, if you're in your 20s listening to this, you should already be using it. If you're any age and you haven't been, you need to begin doing it because while we think of the fact that sunscreen will protect our skin from further damage, what a lot of people don't realize is that by protecting the skin from the sun, there's a lot of additional healing that happens and repair in the skin. Your products are gonna work better and it actually helps reverse age your skin from some of the photo aging and sun damage that you have accumulated. So never skip your sunscreen. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Have I made it clear you need to use sunscreen? So that covers an actual routine, but as I said, there are some lifestyle choices that we really need to consider when thinking about our anti-aging platform. First and foremost is getting enough sleep. Your skin goes through an overnight sleep repair cycle. It's a part of the body's process of healing when we are at rest. And when you routinely miss out on that, your skin begins to look, well, like crap. That's where we get beauty sleep from. Boy, you must've had a lot of beauty sleep. You look great. We all know that when we pull a lot of long hours, and believe me, working on YouTube and with my blog, I am known to pull really long hours. You gotta make sure that the rest gets in there and it happens. The other thing is to take a look at how you're sleeping. Now I've had clients in one-on-one -on -one consultations tell me they have tried to sleep on their back. If that's not natural to you, it's very difficult for you to do and you're gonna have less quality sleep. And it's the quality sleep that we need to get the skin repair cycle. So look at sleep pillows. I've talked about many of these products here on the channel, Sleep and Glows, Omnia Pillow is the one I use. I'll put a link for that down below. Also, you can change out the type of pillowcases you have for a couple of big reasons. One, if you switch to bamboo or silk, those materials do not wick moisture out of your skin. So if you're a side sleeper or a tosser and turner like I am, your skin on your face is gonna spend a lot of time on that cotton pillowcase and cotton wicks moisture away from the skin. So we don't wanna dehydrate the skin. The other reason you wanna take a look at your pillow and how you're sleeping is what I call the smush factor. Now, nobody has a perfectly symmetrical face, but if you sleep on one side all the time or the other all the time, over the years, those muscles get pushed up and age differently than the muscles on the other side. And I have a lot of clients in the 40s, 50s, 60s that really complain about this using a sleep designed pillow that can help alleviate the smushing of your skin can make a huge difference in that, actually help reverse some of that as the muscles get back in alignment in your face, you'd be much 
happier with how you look. And you knew this one was coming. If you are a smoker, you really do need to take a look at trying to stop that habit. It robs your skin of moisture and oxygen. That's been proven in studies. Those dynamic wrinkles that form when people are smoking turn into static wrinkles and you get smoker's lines very easily. And you see this in people in their 30s. So please take a look at that if that's something you're doing. It will pay you big dividends just beyond how you look. So these things, very simple. You obviously don't need a 39 step routine to have great looking skin. These are the basics. They will get you there. Now for specialized problems like acne scarring, deeper wrinkles, fine lines that are already there, hyperpigmentation issues, there are ways to address those with additional steps that I will be talking about in this next video that's coming up. And I will include a link to my anti-aging playlist so that you have access to all the videos around how to make your skin look absolutely fabulous no matter what year it is for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful and I will see you over on that next video.